everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris Made you choose Leeds? Um, so, you know, when I was at Mystics, it was common that, you know, everybody went to the States. Um, that was just what everybody did. I came from, because I played with people like Georgia Jones, like when I was younger. Um, oh, the Jones. So I was, I, I was, a, I felt like a baby when I played with her. I only play, I don't, I don't think I played with her much. Um, but there was other people like Kelsey Barsley, Christy. Um, Shields yeah. and Charlotte Stutter and we they just they were amazing players and they went to the States like there was no question they were going to the States and in yeah. my mind that's what I wanted to do um, but nobody wanted me to be honest <laughs> and that's that's just the truth of it um, I didn't have much help and I went down a route where I was emailing people myself yeah a few people did that I know yeah yeah and um and then, like, I got, I think maybe, it was maybe near a full scholarship, but the fees in America are just wild. So, you know, I, I couldn't afford to pay for that. So, ended up staying in England. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh-uh, like, I ain't made a money like that. <laughs> um, and then Leeds, so I have family in Leeds. Um, I've always heard of it being a very nice city. Um, the basketball was good then at that point, and it it was just like Leeds was just the place. Yeah. I I think I I think I applied for like Leeds, Loughborough, um, maybe Birmingham, um, but also Leeds had the best like sports science as well. But they were developing in Leeds in terms of sports. They were growing up, growing. Up. Yeah, yeah, no, for Especially sure. The basketball, what, what what Matt Newby was doing, that was great. Yeah. I tried. What made me go to Leeds? Because I first time I went out of London properly, and I went to Sheffield to watch women's Great Britain basketball game, and I saw my friend Rosalind play, Rosalind Mason. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was like, damn! I said, I've never seen a place city like this. Trams on the road, and oh, this is nice. I was like, the atmosphere was different. So that's what made me come to Leeds. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. North left, left London. <laughs> gone, man. Amazing place. <laughs> open my eyes so to the whole world like yeah there's more to this than london so yeah, yeah. shout out to lee's carnegie so you know in that first year of lee's how was that for you that experience now bear in mind you won the box in your first year like, yeah um the experience was easy to be honest because especially i already knew ray um oh. who played i already knew rian bailey um because i played with her in like development teams Rian Bailey. Rian Bailey, sorry, yeah. So Ray. Yeah. Speaking of, oh, you know what? I thought Ray was Rian Bailey. Sorry, Rian Bailey. Yeah. No, no, no. Ray, someone <laughs> else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, but Rian Bailey was there as well, and so I was already comfortable, um, and I lived with those guys, um, and the atmosphere in Leeds was just amazing. And D Haywood knew her as well, so I was coming into a situation where I already knew the people that were around. Um. So it was an easy transition. Um, and then just winning the books, the uh, finals first year, uh, first year and only year um, was amazing too. And I remember that being uh, such an exciting game uh, to be in. I didn't think I was going to play. Uh, we were playing against like Steph Collins was on that team. And, you know, she was, she's a GB superstar. Uh, Steph Collins, yeah, I know her. Um, short hair, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I and, um, then I was told by coach that I was going to guard her uh, most of the game. I, and I didn't even expect to play. Um, so I, I was like, oh, I got guard Steph Collins. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we won. And I remember we were up three and their best three-point shooter had a shot. And it's like the whole world, it's like time just stopped. And she missed. And, uh, you know, we obviously won. And it was, uh, it was amazing, for sure. Do you reckon that was the most challenging part of your box run, that winning that box was guarding Steph Collins? You know, it was it was nine years ago, so it's it's pretty tough to um 
to remember exactly, but it's the thing that sticks out in my mind um, more than anything. So I'd probably say yes, for sure, because, you know, I, I was like, gosh, this is GB legend, Steph Collins, and you're telling me to guard her, and this is the finals, what are you doing? Um, I do what you did against though. Wow, no, I did everything I could. <laughs> I did everything I could, you know. That's all I know. I gave it everything I had, man. I probably didn't even score a basket. I probably was just glued to her, to her hip. <laughs> That's probably all I did, but... No, you got the win, man. You got the win. You know what I mean? We did, yeah. I like you got better over the years, though. So, um, you know, fast forward now, you left uni. Um, what happened after Leeds? What was that? Where did you go after this? So after Leeds, so actually I had a bit of a, a weird transition. So I actually didn't even finish at Leeds because I did two years at Leeds. Yeah. I went to Canada for a year and I was going to stay there. Yes, yes, I remember you went Yeah, to and I was, I was actually going to stay there. Then we had an incident where my dad got stuck um, back home in Jamaica and wasn't home for a year. So I couldn't come back because um, we just couldn't afford for me to be there. My dad's the breadwinner of the house, so um, that was a very difficult time. Um, then I came back. So I did finish off my degree in Manchester. Um, and then after that was Northumbria for the next three years. Nice, nice. So the Northumbria time. Took That's when I went to the North East. <laughs> the North, yeah, yeah, North East, the, 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 the angel wing. Where the angel wings are, since you come in. Yes. <laughs> but no, New, uh, New no Newcastle. Was good time. <laughs> but yeah. Um, how was it? So, so how was that experience? The culture in Newcastle, because I know they got a great basketball culture there, with Eagles and stuff as well, and I know they're very supportive of sports up there in general. So, what was that culture like? Um, it was great. I mean. <laughs> Newcastle are very dedicated to their sports, um, which is so evident with the football, with the BBL fans, and they were supportive of us as well. Um, I mean, the the first year I was there, mm -hmm. um, it was a it was a transition for sure. Um, doing my masters, so that's why I actually went to Northumbria because uh, Josh Merrington. So I, I didn't know what I was going to do next, and he approached me and was just like, "How do you feel about doing?" Uh, a master's degree at Northumbria. And I was like, yeah, why not? I, I don't have anything else to do. I don't know what I'm doing next. Um, but I'm glad I made that decision for sure. Um, but yeah, first year was first year was interesting. The second year we won, uh, which was amazing to win the league. Um, and then I stayed there an extra third year. Um, yeah, but it was a great place for sure. Walk us through that championship season, that one. So going into it, what was the talk and mindset? And then as you through it, well, how was your mindset changing as you realised, you know, you had an opportunity to get a, a, the medal in the playoffs? Um, I mean, we had a, we did have quite a solid team. Um, I don't know if you know players like uh, Tiani Clark, uh, Diana Voyanova. Um, being the seniors of the team. Everything, 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 Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, everything, Chris. Uh -huh.